Hi there, Active Plus community. My name is Margaret. Thank you for joining my 15 minute yoga flow class. Today's class is designed to make you feel good, to help loosen up your shoulders, help loosen up your hips, and uh, just to have, have a nice time. And uh, hopefully you will leave the mat feeling good and uh, ready for whatever you have for the rest of your day. So for today's class, you're going to need a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can grab a belt. Or if you don't have a belt, you can grab a towel. You're also going to need a big pillow um, for this class, just so we can make ourselves comfortable. So I've got uh, something called the yoga bolster. Um, they're kind of cool. You don't need to have that. If you have a pillow, though, that's fine. Make yourself, make yourself comfy. So go ahead and sit your butt on your pillow and relax your legs into a comfortable cross-legged position. You can take your hands to your knees and sit a little bit taller. Become core aware. And just sort of draw that belly button in towards the spine. And sit a little bit taller, crown of the head towards the ceiling. Imagine those bones in your back getting a little further away from one another. We're gonna start today's practice with a very simple gratitude practice. I've been doing a lot of research lately into happiness, and there is a wonderful um, podcast called the ha Happiness Lab podcast, and there's a professor from Yale who has been researching happiness for years, and what she has found is that happiness actually really can be generated and really comes from within. And the most important takeaways are that we don't need to wait for X, Y, or Z to happen. We don't need to wait for this thing to be over. We don't need to wait till we can achieve this for us to be happy. We can be happy now. And there's lots of strategies to do that, but one of the most important ones, one of the most research-based ones that we know is proven to actually make people happier is having a gratitude practice. So with this posture where you're sitting up nice and tall, go ahead and close off the eyes and take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Do that again two more times, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Last time, breathing in and breathing out. Great job. Now bring your awareness into this breath as you just return your breath back to normal. You don't have to breathe in any special way. Start to notice the quality of your breath as you breathe in. Is the air going into your belly, into your ribs, into your chest? Just noticing what's happening with the breath. Now we'll take a second here to bring to mind three things that we're grateful for. It doesn't have to be anything special. It's just something that you already have in your life. Just the first three simple things that come to your mind. Things that make you happy, that make you smile, that you feel really fortunate to have these things in your life. And on your next inhale, you're going to reach your arms up overhead, press the palms together. And on the exhale, bring those hands to the heart center, press the palms there, elbows lifted. Now rub the hands together, creating heat between the hands. And now take those palms of your hands to your eyes. Soften those eyes underneath the hands, just allowing the muscles in the face and the eyes to relax away from the bones. And now gently blink the eyes open underneath the fingers and then rest your hands away from your face. Great job. We're going to grab that strap and we're going to open up our shoulders. 
So when you're a student and you're doing a lot of work, you're writing or at the computer, you're on Zoom, tend to start to arch that back, draw the shoulders in, get crank in the neck. So we're going to really try to open up through the shoulders today. So you can take that uh, strap at shoulder height there. And now, depending on your level of flexibility, you're probably going to need to take about another six inches um, down the strap. So give yourself a lot of length there. Take the arms up overhead and draw the shoulders down the back and allow the shoulders to sort of soften away from the ears. Take a nice deep breath in as you gaze up. And on the exhale, gaze forward and take those arms behind you as you really open up those shoulders there. And you can start to sort of pause when you're about midway down and then release all the way down towards the floor. Now take a couple of rounds here. You can adjust your hands on the strap. If you notice that you're behind the, trying to get behind the back and you just can't do it, take your hands even wider. And find a place that feels good for you to get a nice stretch and you can sort of pause there and then continue to move around. So just find what feels good, the feel good flow. If you'd like to, you can um, take that strap up overhead and you can start to rock to the left and rock to the right. Use the strap in any sort of creative way that you like if you want to take a twist. And then coming back towards center, release the strap out in front of you and you can put that strap off to the side. So you can come off that pillow, push that pillow off to the side there, and come onto hands and knees here. You're gonna tuck those toes underneath, lift the hips, find your first downward facing dog, or inverted V. You can bend quite deeply into the knees here since you're just getting started with your yoga practice today. So give yourself a little bit more space when you bend the knees. Now you can straighten through the right leg and really bend quite deeply into the left knee and switch sides. Straighten through the left leg and bend quite deeply into the right knee. And go ahead at your own pace, straightening one leg, bending the other. And then come to find stillness in your down dog. Look forward towards your thumbs and you might need to walk your hands forward about a palm print or two and come into your high plank. Now we're gonna all lower down the knees and untuck the toes. We're gonna lower all the way down towards the mat. And we're gonna find a baby cobra here. So you're gonna inhale, peel the chest off the mat and really press into both sides of the feet. So making sure to press into those pinky toes there on the mat. And then exhale, come to rest on the right cheek. Inhale, once again, lifting up into your baby cobra. And exhale, come to rest on the left cheek. And now this time you're going to take those arms behind you, turn those palms to face up. Inhale, see if you can lift the whole chest off the, off the mat there and then lift those legs and those knees, getting really strong in that back. And on the exhale, rest down. You can make a little pillow with your hands. <sighs> Take those hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck those toes. Push up onto those knees. Press back. Find again your downward facing dog. Go ahead and shake the head no. And nod the head yes. Just sort of soften in through the neck there. Now open and close your, your jaw a few times. And let the muscles in the face relax. A lot of times, if you're stressed out, you might be holding a lot of tension in your head, your neck, your jaw. So these types of poses, when you're letting your head dangle there and you're releasing the muscles, can really help. Now, come back towards your plank, your high plank here. 
and we're gonna make our way into a side plank and we're gonna do so, listen carefully, you're gonna take your right knee behind that left wrist and then turn your whole lower leg parallel to the bottom edge of your mat there. So I've got my left leg out long and I've got the flat part of my foot on the floor. I'm gonna take my left arm up in the sky and then I'm gonna sort of just push myself up towards uh, like a tall kneeling there. Let's tilt my camera up. And now you can take that left hand to meet the left leg, take the right arm up over by the right ear and get a nice side stretch in that whole right side body there. Imagine that you're trying to pull those right ribs away from the right hips. Go ahead, look down at that left leg. Take your arm up towards the ceiling and then come back towards making a letter T with the arms and then press that right hand into the mat. We're here in a modified plank. You might need to adjust your, your knee there if, um, if it, you were finding it hard to reach the floor. Take that top arm up. This is called a modified plank. Hopefully you can feel it in these oblique muscles and all around the core, including that uh, back, those muscles in the back that we just activated by doing those cobra poses. If you are super uh, ready for your workout today, go ahead and take those feet to stack on top of one another. And then if you're also like, I got this, this is awesome, feeling really light in that top left leg, imagine it just floating up. And release that foot back down. Release that whoo, lower knee back down. Imagine that somebody's holding onto your left hand and they're pulling you up from the ceiling back up to your T. Great job. Turn your hands back down. Make your way very gracefully back into your all fours here. We're going to move through one set of cat cows to neutralize the spine. So you're going to inhale, look up, tailbone towards the ceiling. Exhale, draw the chin towards the chest. Push the floor away as you curve the spine up. Come back towards a flat back. Tuck those toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Ooh. Shake out the head now. And nod the head, yes. Flutter the lips, this is one of my favorite ones. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. <laughs> Let's do that again. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. <laughs> I got a two-year-old son, he's really good at that. <laughs> Let's come back into your all fours here. And we'll come back up towards kneeling. Now I'm going to turn to face you. We're going to switch sides with that side plank. So take your left hand this time down onto the mat. Right hand comes out to the side. Right, sorry, right leg rather comes up to the side. And you're going to push that foot so it's nice and flat into the floor as the right arm reaches up. And now imagine somebody's pulling you with that right hand as you inhale up. Make a T with your arms. And then the right hand comes to the right leg and the left arm comes over by the left ear. Once again, getting a lovely side stretch in that whole side body here. Um, imagining that you could really separate those ribs away from the hips. Breathing here, you can look down towards the floor. And then inhale, come back up, arms like a T. And find our side plank once again, here we are. Now this is a modified side plank with a knee on the floor. This is uh, perfectly fine if this is where you're at today. This is great for developing those muscles. If you would like to take it up a notch, go ahead and stack those feet on top of one another. Vashistasana is the Sanskrit word for this. <laughs> All of these poses have Sanskrit names. That's the ancient language of yoga. You can inhale that right leg up. If you're feeling real strong today, then bring it back down and then lower that knee back down. 
And then you imagine once again, somebody's pulling that right hand up. Find the T with your arms. Hands come to the hips, knees together. Go ahead and sit down. Take your palms face down out to the knees. And let's give our wrists a little bit of love. Feel good flow. So we want our bodies to feel good. So you're going to take your, uh, your hands into fists and make little circles with them, stretching out the wrists. And then let's take the backs of the hands towards one another. And this is going to get a nice stretch on the back of the wrist there. You can lower those elbows. And the lower the elbows go, the more of a stretch you're going to get in the back of the hands. We spend a lot of time on our wrists in yoga, so it's really important to take care of them, give them some love, and if you start to notice your wrists are really hurting, uh, maybe maybe you need to like back off, maybe rest, try to take the some modifications um, until your wrists start to feel better. Let's take our tabletop position once again. We have a fun little spinal balance here. I hope you're ready for this. There's a lot of wobbling in this one. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You're going to take that left leg straight back, tuck those toes underneath, and take the right arm up by the right ear. Now, if you want to, you can lift that left leg up off the floor and have one nice long line from the right fingertips all the way down the body and then out that bottom of that left foot. Imagine your left foot being really strong and active. It's going to help a lot in this pose. Now, if you'd like to, you can bend into that left knee, reach back with the right hand and grab the outer edge of that right foot. Now, this is a really nice stretch here, crosses the midline of the body behind you. So it's a really good activity for the brain as well. If you found yourself really confused trying to find your foot behind your body, it's perfectly normal. Now, if you'd like to go a little deeper into the pose, really make that left foot active, press into that right hand and allow yourself to make a gentle back bend there as the left knee rises up in the air. It will really help your balance here if you pick one spot to look on, to look at, and try not to move your eyes all over the place. Go ahead and release that left knee down, let go of the foot, come back to hands and knees. We'll neutralize the spine once again, inhaling up into your cow pose. Exhaling, draw the chin towards the chest in your cat pose. And come back to find a flat back. We'll switch sides. So you want to shift your balance onto your left knee as your right leg goes back. And uh, left arm is going to come up by the left ear. You are more than welcome to stay here. Otherwise, you can lift that right leg off the mat there. If you're feeling pretty groovy, bend into that right foot, reach back, grab the outer edge of that right foot. You can hang out here, working on your balance, keeping that core strong. If you want to, you can really press that right foot into that right hand to allow a gentle back bend and to lift that right foot, that right knee a little higher up towards the ceiling. Go ahead, release that right knee down. Release the left hand and move through your cat cow, inhaling up and exhaling down. Great job. Go ahead and sit back on the knees and make uh, some circles with those wrists once again. I hope that you had a nice time in this feel good flow. I hope you were able to open up your shoulders open up your hips a little bit, and um, hopefully this will help you if you are spending a lot of time on your Zoom classes, if you're spending a lot of time in front of the computer, maybe you're spending a lot of time on the couch. <laughs> uh, but um, just remember as you are taking those positions, just try to be a bit more mindful of your posture um, and, and see if that, if that helps make you feel a little bit better throughout the day. So we're going to end by reminding ourselves of our gratitude practice. So I hope that you're in a comfortable kneeling position with the shoulders on the back. Just close off the eyes. Take a nice breath in through the nose. 
and out through the mouth. One more, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Bringing to mind those three things that you are grateful for. Three things that you decided at the start of class. Just being really grateful for these things, knowing that happiness can be generated from within. A nice deep breath in, reach the arms up overhead, press the palms together, gaze up towards the thumbs, exhale, draw the hands towards the heart center. Great job. Namaste. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time.